Today I will show you my top 7 budget hiking gears that I have been using for the last year. And stay tuned until the end of the video where I will tell you 3 things that I think you should invest in. So, let's get started! Hi my hiking friends, it is nice to see all of you here. And hi to my new friends who are on this channel for the very first time. Welcome! If you want to see hiking trips and ticks, <laughs> if you want to see hiking tips and tricks for a self-taught hiker, then hit the subscribe button below and hit also the little bell notification button because my uploading schedule isn't so regular right now. But anyway, have you heard the phrase all the gear and no idea? Well, it is really easy to fall into this trap of buying expensive and high-tech hiking gear and realizing later that you don't need it. Don't get me wrong, I would be really glad if I could buy all of this high-tech hiking gear, but uh, unfortunately they can be quite expensive and I don't have this option right now to buy all of these things. So I put together a list of uh, low budget hiking gears that I have been using for the last year in my hiking through Estonia adventure and they have been working quite well for me. So I hope you will find some new ideas to try out yourself as well. For the first thing I will show you a budget option for a shelter because for a lightweight one or two person tent you have to pay a lot of money like 200 euros, 300 euros and of course you can pay really high prices for it but there aren't a lot of uh, low budget options out there. So what I did, I bought a tarp from 29 euros from eBay. I made a video about some uh, tarp setups, so if you want to check it out, I will put a card here. Tarp is a really good and cheap option to just have some kind of shelter that protects you from rain and from winds. Of course, you can buy expensive tarps that can cost uh, 60, 70 euros. But a really cheap one did the trick for me. It's just a big 3x3 three three meter cover basically. Uh, to be fair, it didn't have enough holes in it to do all of the setups I wanted. So I just sewed, sewed, fuck. Really easy. I will continue to use my tarp as a shelter because I, I kind of find the nature experience from sleeping under a tarp with an open setup more like more nicer. It's a good way to really get this nature experience because you really see everything around you and you are not closed in, in a four wall tent. Second thing that is really important when you are sleeping with your tarp, uh, you can buy some expensive ground sheets for like 20 euros. But what I am using is a contractor bag. I bought a roll of contractor bags from the store for about 2 euros and you have a lot of bags in this one roll. I cut it open so it would be as wide as possible. Uh, if I get holes in it I won't be too upset about it because I can use another bag on the next trip. If you get holes in your expensive ground sheet that cost 20 euros you will be quite sad. Another place where I use contractor bags are to line my backpack. I just took another bag, cut it a little bit shorter and I just stuff all of the things that I don't want to get wet in here. I would close it and then on top of it I can put my tarp that may be wet from the night before. It's a really cheap option instead of dry bags that cost again like 20 euros, 30 euros, depends on the size. The other thing that I use instead of dry bags are Ziploc bags, bigger ones and smaller ones. I put all of my food here and also I keep my electronics in this dry bag and whatever I need, my medicines, my toilet paper. So again, I don't have to buy different sizes dry bags that can add up for a lot of money. You can get them on grocery stores. Usually they are in a bigger 
box and you have for example 25 bags in one of these boxes that cost 1 euros, 2 euros so a really good and cheap option that works really well. Uh, I have a really cheap cooking set that I use. Stainless steel pot that costed about 15 euros and uh, here you see how cheap I can go. I am holding my gas burner inside of a uh, lonely sock but yeah, this is my gas burner, really easy, cheap one. I don't remember how much it costed because I bought it like years ago, but probably you have to pay 20, 30 euros for it. You may use a fancy jet boil that can cost up to 100 euros. Uh, that is really efficient, yes, I have to say that. But this one is really cheap one and I don't mind waiting a minute or two longer to get my water boiling, so. And actually, when I started hiking, I didn't have this. Instead, I used an old army mess kit. I found it from my home, but it was too big for me. So I switched it up to the new pot. Look around at your home uh, with your open eyes. Go to a baron's house. Maybe they have something you can use. Okay, for the next thing, clothing. Again, you can buy all of this fancy hiking clothing from the hiking store, but if you don't want to pay 100 euros for fancy pants, 50 euros for a fancy fleece, you can use whatever you have in your closet. For example, my favorite fleece that I wore on every hiking trip I had last year was bought from a thrift store and it costed really small amount of money. I don't remember how much, but it was a small amount of money. And of course, the clothes that cost you the most are the rain clothes. Uh, to be more exact, rain jackets. The expensive ones can cost you 100, 200 euros. But what I did, I, I bought a really cheap rain jacket from a cheap sports equipment store. It, it is not the most rainproof, but it holds off the first rain drops. Uh, and also it's a really good windbreaker, so it was an extra warmth for me when the, it was really windy. So this cost 10 euros. And when it starts to rain really heavily, I just use a simple plastic rain poncho. Again, if you have holes in it and uh, it doesn't hold off rain anymore, you just throw it out and buy a new one. They cost one euros, maybe. And it does the trick really well. It holds off the rain. If you move around a lot uh, and you are wearing this, of course, it collects condensation under it. But I have heard that uh, even the expensive rain jackets uh, have this condensation issue. So I prefer using this until I have enough money to buy a proper rain shell. Yeah. And for my last budget item, uh, I offer you an idea that is a little bit controversial for me as well. But if you are starting out hiking, don't waste a lot of money on your backpack. Buy a cheaper version to get the hang of your hiking style and your needs. This is a Ferrino bag that I bought years ago about for about 120 euros. It's not the most quality bag. On one of my trips I broke it, the, the met metal thing that supports your back came through the material and I patched it up with uh, tape and it holds up nicely. If you are a beginner hiker, buy a cheaper version do a bunch of hiking and then you can buy a really expensive one. Okay, these were my seven budget hiking gears that I have been using. And now for the three things that I think you should consider investing in. And the first one is a backpack. <laughs> I know it's a controversial topic, but if you have the money uh, and you know a little bit what you are doing, invest in a good and sort of lightweight pack bag because mine is really heavy and big. It has a lot of pockets that I don't need so if you have the money go and invest in a good backpack and it will serve you well for many many years. But I have to say that uh, 
If you don't know what you are buying, buy a cheaper one, then your losses will be much smaller if you, if you don't like the bag and it is not comfortable on your back and shoulders and hips. The second thing that I think you should invest in is a sleeping bag, especially when you are afraid of cold in the night like I am. I bought a really big and quite expensive sleeping bag uh, because I want my nights to be nice and warm and I want to really sleep nicely when I'm out there. So again, if you have the money, go and find some decent uh, sleeping bags because the ones you find in big department stores where you have food in one aisle and hiking gear in the other aisle they may not be working as well as a really good and high quality sleeping bag and for the last thing shoes you really need good shoes because the shoes will be carrying yourself, your backpack and everything you have. The topic of which kind of hiking shoe you should be wearing. Is it a leather boot, a hiking boot, a waterproof boot or some trail runners? Uh, that's another topic. So you can google it and try to figure out what shoe you want to buy. But uh, don't go hiking in your sneakers or normal running shoes because they are not designed to carry extra weight on your back and your feet start to hurt. So good shoes is a foundation for a good hiking trip. <laughs> These were my ideas for budget hiking things. Let me know in the comments below what budget hiking things have you been using. What I want to say to you is don't let money be between you and your hiking adventures. Figure out what things you have to really invest in and use other low budget things until you have the opportunity to buy exp more expensive things if you need them. Thank you so much for watching. Go for a hike and I will see you next time. Bye!